What's going on fish keepers? George from South Florida African Cichlids here and today I'm going to be showing you how to correctly test your water as well as go over some common mistakes that people make. So stay tuned. The main thing that you want to test your water for is nitrates. Once your tank is cycled, the only way to take nitrates out of your water is through water changes. Plants help reduce the nitrates, but it's very difficult to have zero nitrates. So let's go ahead and check it out. So when you're testing, this is our uh, master aquarium kit. I also have this little nitrate one because my nitrate one ran out. This is what I test for the most. So the nitrate kit, it's very important you're testing this correctly. I've seen a lot of videos and people are not testing it correctly. So I'm, gonna, I'm here to show you how to do it. Make sure that this is level to the line with your tank water. Then you have two bottles. Bottle number one nitrate, you don't really have to shake it much. Just move it around a little bit. Just get it open. And we're going to pour 10 drops in here. All right, we got our 10 drops in. So now all of these tests have specific instructions for each one. Make sure you're reading them. For the nitrate kit, you have to add 10 drops. You gotta move it around. Then the next bottle, bottle number two, this bottle, it says to shake it for one minute. Now I shake it for 20 seconds or so, depending on how much is in there. The reason it says one minute is because when the bottle is full, it's kind of hard to mix it, but this bottle's already like probably like halfway. So I already shook, uh, shook it before, but I'm gonna shake it a little bit more now. We're gonna go ahead and open it up and we're gonna add 10 drops. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and open this. Try not to spill any of this on yourself or on any surfaces. These are chemicals. 10 drops. All right, we got our 10 drops. Gonna cover it up, shake it up for 15 seconds. Now this is the part where most people go wrong. They'll just shake it 15 seconds and they'll be like, oh, it's yellow. It's perfect. I don't have any nitrates. And that's where you're wrong. This test actually requires that you let it sit for five or 10 minutes. And then you're going to see that color intensify. When that color intensifies, it'll show you what the nitrate actually is. So we're going to let that sit for five or 10 minutes. And while that's going, we're going to check the ammonia. So ammonia is a lot simpler than the nitrate. For ammonia, you could add bottle number one and bottle number two right after, and then you shake them up and ammonia will give you an instant reading within a minute. So there's no waiting for that. Let me go ahead and shake them and put the drops in and we'll see what we look like. An important thing to know when you're testing for your ammonia is that the bottle is only eight drops and you don't really have to shake them like the nitrate bottle. Once you do that, you just let them sit so this is going to be my ammonia reading right here. What you do is you compare it to the chart here. As you can see, the ammonia is yellow. So that means we have zero parts per million. And the nitrate that looked yellow before, you see how it's getting a more orange color. So we're actually going to let that sit for a couple more minutes. And then I'm going to show you what it actually is. So it actually seems like we do have some ammonia. We have 0.25 ppm, which is okay because this tank is still cycling. Now I'm going to keep testing this during the upcoming days because if I don't do a water change, that might go up. 0.25 for most fish is fine, but once you get here and here and it starts getting more green, you'll see them start to come up to the surface for oxygen and stuff, and you really don't want that. 
And the one good way to get rid of ammonia is to do a big water change. So if you have 0.5, you do a 50% water change, it'll drop to 0.25. Until your tank is cycled and your bacteria colony is able to break down all that ammonia into nitrate. It also doesn't help that I just fed the tank too. So I'm thinking that that's probably what's going on there. And here we have the nitrate strip. Let's go ahead and lay it down next to this. So you can see we have around 10 ppm of nitrates, which is perfectly fine. That's not, it's between five and 10. It's not, it's very minimally toxic for the fish. Um, this nitrate reading is up to 40 gallon and I've had them in there with their nitrates being up to 40. So I'm actually going to let this tank slide for a couple more days. And when I, I usually do two water changes a week on my fry tank. So next time I'm going to do a water change, I'm going to go ahead and hit these tanks up. And nitrate and ammonia, two of the most crucial things to test for. You want to make sure your levels are in check. And if they are not in check, you definitely want to know about it so you could keep a better eye on your fish. Please keep in mind all the tips that I told you with the, with the kits. Make sure you're shaking the nitrate bottle and that you're letting it sit for at least five minutes before you're checking. Another thing to keep in mind is just by doing this, you could set your water change schedules. So now I know that after five days of no water changes in this 40 gallon, my nitrates are around 10 parts per million, which is very low. So that actually means that I could probably do a water change every two weeks on this tank and my nitrates would probably go up to 40 maybe. But me being how I am, I do two water changes a week on some tanks and one water change a week is the least I want to do. So I'm actually going to do that. Not only does that help the fish uh, be more healthy, it's going to help them breed better and it's also going to help promote growth in the plants by putting new minerals in the water. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. I did my best to, uh, to correct some of the common mistakes that people do while testing their water. And yeah, until next time, catch you guys later.